Hello my beautiful Aries and cross watchers. Guys, just super quick announcement. I want to give my deepest and most sincere apologies. Um, I know I have been slacking with posting all 12 signs and that is simply because my life is a mess. <laughs> okay. I, I really, I have a lot of personal readings. I was for, I was doing the, the weekend read and then I had an emergency. I had to drive 20 hours straight all the way up to New York. Um, so it's like, I, I'm working very hard on settling myself soon. Um, well, I, it, this will not be an issue so if there's ever been a time where I did not post Aries please 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 forgive me I am working on it okay all right guys so if you're currently a subscriber welcome back and if you have not yet subscribed please be sure to do so I do choose multiple readers every single month okay um, and I um, I give away free Sorry, I'm just getting like downloaded. The reading hasn't even started and my head is already filling up. Um, okay, so I give away free readings every month. I choose multiple winners. I, choose, I give away tarot cards and I give away oracle cards. So please be sure to subscribe. Um, and the winners are always announced on your monthly readings. So please be sure to uh, click that notification bell so when you know you know when those readings post. I am taking readings. It is $5 off your first reading with me. Um, I am only taking 15-minute readings right now simply because I have an insanely high demand in readings. And I have a lot going on. But that will change in the near future. Okay? Um, the deck we're using today is the Golden Universal, and it is number nine in the description box below. So I'm going to do a quick shuffle on these, and then we're going to go over your pre-shuffle, okay? Uh, messages that I picked up on your pre-shuffle. <sighs> Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, what messages do we have for my Aries, please? For October 21st through the 22nd, please. What clarity and guidance can we get from my Aries and their person, please? What messages do my Aries need to hear today, please, Holy Spirit? Okay, Aries. So, guys, Lord, in your pre-shuffle, pain. Oh, guys, some of you are really hurting, okay? So, either some of you cheated on your person or had them in a third-party situation, or vice versa, or, or you... Um, got cheated on. I, I'm so sorry, Aries, but I feel f strongly that for um, a large portion of you, you guys were the one that cheated. If you're divine masculine, I feel that strongly for the masculine. Um, so guys, yeah, you're hurting because someone here, they left you in the dust. They left you in the dust and you're realizing that, <laughs> whoops, that was a mistake. You know what I'm saying? Someone here, you're, I, I just got so, I almost started crying like, um, a lot of pain here. Okay. So I do feel that you're trying to, you're actually thinking of this person so much that you're actually trying to manifest them back into your life. Um, you're not sleeping. You're, you're, you, you cannot get this person out of your head. And I honestly got to tell you Aquarius, uh, um, Oh, you might be dealing with an Aquarius. I honestly have to tell you Aries that, um, you didn't think you cared about this person that much. Like, you, you care, you know, you, you always care, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think you realized your feelings for this person up until now, okay? I, I don't think um, it's hitting you harder than you realized because you didn't realize um, the feelings that you even had for this individual, okay? And, um, wow, oh, Aries, this is why you guys are hurting. I get it now, okay? So, um, yeah, there was a definite, you know, third party. Okay. Definite third party. Now keep in mind guys. Okay. A third party, you know, and I always have to emphasize this. It's not always another man or a woman. Okay. It could be, Hey, listen, you know, I like to golf or play basketball or work on my car and you know, your girl or your man, or I like to go out with my girlfriends or whatever. There's the point here is, is that there's something that was coming in between the connection and, um, you know, something was coming in between the connection and one person didn't want to release that. Okay. Relationships only last Aries. If when you're having a connection with somebody and you get all these arrows, all these, all these trials, challenges, tribulations that are trying to hit your relationship. If you guys both shield yourselves and protect your connection, it'll never end. And people are like, how do you stay together forever? Simple. Don't let shit come between you and your person. It's simple. Okay. So it could be anything, you know what I'm saying? It could be anything. Um, I, I see, you know, I, I listen to wives and husbands that are completely miserable because their person will not give up one habit. Okay. That that's ridiculous. All right. So for all of you, it doesn't, it's not just, um, 
You know what I'm saying? It's not just another man or a woman. You know, sometimes it could be simply my husband won't stop calling me bad names and that's really coming in between our relationship and that's what's going to break the connection. Or, you know, my wife won't stop, you know, demeaning me as a man and not respecting me in my household. That will break up a marriage. That's a third party. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started here. So now Aries, I'm going to put this on your side, you on this side and your person on this side. Feel free to flip it, switch it, reverse it. It is a general message. Okay. Now, if it doesn't resonate at all, don't force it to fit into your life. Okay. Do not force it to fit into your life. These are general collective readings. Do not force it to fit. Okay. So Aries deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. I, I, again, I told you, I felt very strongly that for a lot of you, it was you that did this. Doesn't make you a passive, bad person. You guys were just playing the field. I, again, I feel like, um, I feel very strongly that for a lot of you, you didn't realize the feelings that you had for this person. So this could be for some of you that are married and did this. Of course. I mean, everybody's story is different, but I feel very strongly, um, the awakening and the awareness of, holy crap, I lost this person and I didn't even realize I cared about them like that. Like the reason why you had them in a third party is because you just didn't feel that serious about the connection, okay? It doesn't make you a bad person. Things happen, okay? But we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Again, like I said, I saw that, magi ma that magician in that pre-shuffle. You guys are, I, I don't even think you, <laughs> for a majority of you, I don't even think you realize that you're manifesting this person back because you just can't stop thinking about them. And when you can't stop thinking about somebody, that's actually manifesting okay um i feel like you do want to work on this connection okay the three of pentacles is all about wanting to work on a marriage this could have been a marriage for a lot of you but uh yeah because we have the four of wands here so for some of you it could have been a marriage okay but i feel more than ever you're like oh crap i should have worked on that because you guys have a soulmate twin flame connection that's the problem here. And Aries, it's knocking you back on your uh, your haunches there because you're like, wait a minute, hold on. Why do I feel like this? You know what I'm saying? Why do I feel so much pain over losing this person? We've got the Queen of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. So, you know, you found this person to be very sexy, very attractive, very outgoing, very, you know, just on their game financially, on their game, like very quick, very action, very spontaneous. Like there's just nothing that this person can't achieve type of thing. Um, and now guess what you're like uh hello i want this person again i want to come back i want to offer my apology and i feel aries that quite a few of you are you are are actually going to start taking action you're going to stop trying to call them towards you and actually move towards them and take action uh capricorn taurus virgo energy here okay now, Aries, on your person side, we have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, okay? And then we have chemistry here. There's a strong magnetic attraction, okay? So obviously your person, Aries, is super attracted to you, okay? They're super attracted to you, and um, I feel that they felt very, they, they either felt safe in your love or they wanted to feel safe in your love. There you go. That's that third party there. So if they didn't know about an actual physical other issue, the, their, their, their quote unquote third party situation, I feel very strongly is they didn't feel safe with you. They did not feel safe with you. And because they didn't feel safe with you, because they didn't feel like there was a sense of stability and control, they didn't feel like you were an emperor, okay? And this is Aries Taurus energy, okay? They didn't feel that you were an emperor. This tower fell. This tower fell. This person wanted you to come towards them with love. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. They wanted you to come towards them with love and you ended up causing just a lot of confusion, mental conflict, making them feel like there were other options, okay? And they had to retreat because they needed mental rest. The Four of Swords specifically talks about needing mental rest. I mean, think about going through a divorce, for instance, and then you just need to get away and lay down for a little bit because you went through trauma. Or think about any type of major trauma that would happen in your life and then you just need to go lay down and just put your hand in your head and just rest for a minute. That's what the Four of Swords really speaks about. And I feel like this person, um, you know, they really cared about you. They wanted to feel safe with you. They were definitely attracted to you, um, but they didn't feel that. So now in the next two days here, in the next two days, Aries, um, if you're going to move towards this person, you got to take your, 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 your seat as an emperor or an empress. You got to show them that you are in control. You got to show them that you do have love in your heart. And you got to, if you do have other options or if you have been causing confusion, you got to let it go. 
you got to let it go. Okay, because this person is tired. That Four of Swords is tired. Yeah, look, in the middle of the deck, in the, the overall energy between, they're tired and they're releasing. The Four of Wands, they're tired and they're releasing. What's crossing the situation here is that you guys miss each other. You yearn for each other. You guys want, you know, see Aries... In every deck, this card is different, okay? Some people look out into the horizon and they're holding on to a connection, and other people, they're holding on to something else. You're yearning for something, but you're, you're afraid to let go of that freedom. You're afraid to decide that you want this connection, but at the same time, you can't stop yearning for the person, and that's what's really causing you to be like, what in the heckity heck is happening here? You know what I'm saying? And your person is yearning for you too, but at the same time, I don't really see them wanting to reconcile either because... They're tired, you know what I'm saying? So both of you are trying to hold on to staying free from each other. Both of you, you know, are just, you know, that, that's the problem here, okay? Now, the issue as to why you're in so much pain, you may have walked away from a past life soulmate, okay? Um, or perhaps, Aries, some of you um, walked away from this connection to go back to an ex, and now you're realizing that that's not working. That that's not, you know what I'm saying? So that, uh, you know, you guys have a chapter here that needs to end and something new needs to begin. We've got the lover's card deciding on the lover that you want to be with, but this is a soulmate card, okay? Uh, Gemini energy here. Yeah, I feel that you've been, you know, guarded and, and protecting your secrets for quite some time. Um, but it's very, you have to understand, when there's a third party situation, it's very obvious. Okay, you have to, Aries, let me just tell everybody this, okay? When you can keep secrets, you can guard secrets so that someone can't, you know, can't physically come to you and say, oh, look, I know that you took this person out to dinner and I know the, yeah, okay, people don't know it. Um, buddy, please stop it. People may not know it. People may not have proof sometimes, but make no mistake, when a person is, is left like this, begging and feeling left out in the cold and constantly unsafe and unstable, they know something's up, okay? And Aries, I'm sure a lot of you have been this person left out in the cold begging for affection, okay? Everybody has at one point or another in their life. We've all had good relationships and bad relationships, but when someone is starving for affection, stability, love, and joy, they know something else, uh, else is up. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're not giving them those positive, abundant feelings that they're, they're looking for, if you're not giving them that Ten of Cups feeling and always making them feel rejected, they're going to know that something else is up. So now when you come back, you have to take into consideration that this person, okay, is going to feel very confused and they're going to really need to think about it because they don't want to feel that way anymore, okay? Yeah. I feel very, very strongly, Aries, that you're very much stuck in your head about wanting a second chance with this person. Yeah. You want to move forward with this person, but you have to keep in mind that they may not trust you. So on the first go, don't expect everything to be all la di da because I, I hate to break it to you, Aries, but this person is, well, is fine without you. They're fine without you. They're stable. They're independent. They're abundant. They're well off. Um, they're fine without you. Not, be, not to say that their heart's not hurting and that they don't love you because they're in four of swords mode, okay? Not to say that, but this I feel that your person is the type of person that really doesn't need anybody in their life. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So if you're not going to come at them correct, stay home. You understand? Because they're like, listen, I'm not looking for games, okay? So Aries, again, this can all be vice versa. It can be, okay? Um, you know, leave a comment in the in the, the section below. I, I really do love listening to all your stories. I don't get a chance to answer everybody, and I'm sorry about that, but I do read them. I, it's really nice to hear all the stories and see how this connects with you guys. Um, but honestly, yeah, you guys have to, and I feel that you guys are going to come in wanting to do right by this person just out of simple awakening of, wow, you mean so much more to me. I, I feel like you're, you're, um, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine. I feel like you're a, tw someone here is a twin that's actually awakening. I'm surprised we didn't get the page of swords or the ace of swords, but some, I, I strongly feel that you're awakening to that fact that there's a stronger connection here than you thought there was. Okay. All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> Again, if this resonated, please be sure to like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And um, if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, information is in the description box below. Take care, guys.